Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 4.5, decimal division patterns. Let's get started. Today's objective is I can apply patterns of division to decimals by moving place values to the left with 100% accuracy in multiple attempts. Please pause now to type the I can and by statement into your digital math notebook. All right, friends, we recently talked about multiplication patterns. Now we're going to be talking about division patterns. The important rule to remember is that when we divide, our number should always get smaller. When our number gets smaller, we're going to move to the left. So that's what we're going to model here in these problems. Just like when we multiplied by 1 tenth, now we're going to divide by our multiples of 10 and we're going to get smaller each time. Our decimal is on the left and we're going to move to the left. So if I divide by 1, my number is going to stay exactly the same. I have 56.3. But now I'm going to divide by 10. 10 has one zero, so it's going to move one place to the left. So I have 5.63. Remember when we did this with multiplying? Now we have two zeros, which means we're going to move one, two places. So my number is going to be 0 0.56. Three. And lastly, I have one, two, three zeros, so I'm going to move one, two, three places, and in that hole, I'm going to fill in with a zero. So if I take 56.3 and divide it by a thousand, I would get the number 0 0.0563, which we could read out loud as 563 millionth. All right, guys, your turn to join me. These problems are in your digital math notebook, so make sure you're pausing and typing in your answers. Here's a problem just like what we did before. We're going to divide 19.8 by 10. 10 has one zero, so we're going to move one place value to the left. All of these are division, which means all of these are going to be getting smaller, so we're always going to be moving left. So that number would be 1.98. Now we have two zeros, so we're going to go 1, 2, and our number would be 0 0.198. And it looks like there's a mistake here. It looks like this is supposed to be divided by 1,000 to continue our pattern. So we'll practice that. There's three zeros, which would be 1, 2, and then we'd have a gap there. So we fill in with a 0, so we would have 0 0.98. 0, 0198. Now we can do the same type of pattern with exponents. We practice this with multiplying. Let's see what it looks like with division. We know that 10 to the power of 0 has 0, 0, so that would be the number 1. And if we divide by 1, everything stays the same, so that would be 47.3. Nothing changes. Now we do 10 to the power of 1, which has 1 zero, and it's going to move one place. So that's the number 10, and it's going to go one place. Remember, our exponent told us that, so our number would be 4.73. Now we have 10 to the power of 2. That means we're going to move two places, so 1, 2. So our number is now going to be 0 0.4. Seven, three. So we're going smaller each time we divide. And this time we have three place values. One, two, three. And we fill in that hole with a zero. So our answer would be 0 0.0473. Make sure that you pause and type these answers into your digital math notebook now. All right, guys, time for the lesson activity. Today's lesson activity is in your digital math notebook, so make sure you're filling in your answers in your notebook as well. We're going to model with exponents like we just did on the previous page. When we divide, we're going to get smaller and move to the left. So if we move to the left, 
one place value, our number would be 7.689. Remember from this that all of our digits, all of our numbers stay the same. The only thing that changed was the place of our decimal when we got smaller. Now we're gonna divide by 10 to the power of two. We know that 10 to the power of two is 100 and it has two zeros, so we're gonna move one, two. So our decimal is now going to be 0 0.7689. And your job is to fill in this last box. We're gonna move one, two, three, and what do we do to fill in that gap? Your job is to fill that in and type your answers into your digital math notebook. Great job, fifth graders. When your notes are complete and you feel comfortable with this lesson, complete your exit slip. Great job.